Before we dive deep into Linux, I thought we would examine the major components that make up Linux. And they divide this into three major layers or levels, whatever you wanna call them. So that's what we're gonna examine in this video, those three layers. Now at the top layer is the user space. The middle layer is the kernel, and at the bottom is your computer, the physical hardware. So those are the three main layers. Now as you can see here, the kernel sits between the user space and the physical hardware. And he's the one that's doing all the communications back and forth to the hardware, as well as the user. So if the user issues a command, the kernel will take that and execute it accordingly. So as I mentioned at the top layer is the user space. And the two main components of the user space is the GUI and the shell. And this is actually where we're gonna spend a lot of our time. We're gonna spend a majority of our time in this level. And that's because this is where you will issue your commands from. And specifically, you use the shell. And that's actually what we're gonna talk about in the next video. The shell is essentially a program that allows you to type in commands into a console. And that's actually the terminal window. And so you can essentially execute these commands. So the shell is effectively the interface between you as the user and the kernel. So again, it's absolutely one of the most fundamental aspects to Linux. It's the way you can interact with the kernel and the system. And in many respects, it's very similar to the command prompt in Microsoft, where you have a command line and you can start issuing commands. And how do we do that? We do that through a terminal. And again, we're gonna get going with the command line and the shell in the next video. Now, as I mentioned, sitting right in the middle is the kernel. And as I mentioned in the last video, this is what Linux distributes. There are two main functions of the kernel. The big one is it manages processes. That's really the most important thing the kernel does. What are processes? Well, a process is just an instance of a computer program that is being executed. And if you think about it, a computer software program by itself does nothing. It needs to run as a process before it can actually do anything. So that's essentially what a process is. And the main responsibility of the kernel is to manage the processes that are executed on the CPU. Now the device drivers are also maintained on the kernel. And of course, you probably know what hardware drivers are. They basically act as an interface to your computer hardware. So again, the kernel will manage all of the device drivers for your system. Now the kernel also manages all the memory that needs to be allocated for the processes. And of course that means the RAM. So it will keep track of all of the memory that is being allocated to all of the processes that are running on your Linux system. So that's another thing the kernel does. It also manages system calls and we'll talk about that in later videos. Now the bottom layer is your actual hardware, whatever computer you're running. And the two main components here are your CPU and RAM, as well as your physical devices. These could be optical drives, all sorts of peripherals that you're plugging into your computer. And this is actually where a process runs. It will actually run in your main memory or your RAM. And again, it's the kernel who keeps track of all of the processes running on Linux. Okay, I think that's a good start. And I really thought this video would be very critical. So you have an understanding how Linux is constructed. And these three main layers are very important to understand before we go forward. Okay, see you in the next video.